You might have heard of terms such as cubes, dimensions, and measures in regard to OLAP modeling. These terms can be confusing if you're not an experienced modeler. Today we'll be looking at cubes, what they are, and how they're used in OLAP modeling. So, what is a cube? A cube is a multi-dimensional data set. Cubes can hold data, collect data from users, and be used to calculate data as needed. A cube's data structure can be imagined as a multi-dimensional spreadsheet. Dimensions are what's used to form cubes. We'll cover dimensions more in depth in another video. Most of us can imagine a one-dimensional spreadsheet quite easily. You create one every time you create a list, like a list of book genres, quarters, regions, or products. Now, a two-dimensional spreadsheet is also quite easy to imagine. For example, suppose you are tracking monthly sales in the columns and genre sales in the rows. That's two dimensions, one for time and one for genre. And in this example, sales is something called a measure. Analyzing three or more dimensions, however, can be tricky to imagine. So let's say you're the owner of a bookstore. You might have a spreadsheet where you track monthly sales in the columns and sales per genre in the rows. But that's only a two-dimensional analysis. Now let's imagine that you're the manager of multiple bookstores. You might have multiple spreadsheets with the same dimensions, but for each store. Now you're analyzing three dimensions. One for time, one for genre, and one for region. Using this visual, it's easy to see how this data set can be called a cube. But despite this name, cubes can contain more than three dimensions. Dimensions by themselves don't really provide as much insight into data. But when combined into a cube, they are powerful tools for data analyses.